boys bought this really cool vertical record player. Portable photograph. Vertical. vertical point. Point. Oh, it's vertical. So I called Lon to come in and take a look at this thing. Lon knows a lot about military, but he also knows all kinds of antiques. He's been in this industry forever. He's a brother in our circle of rust. Hi. Hi. How you doing? How you doing? Good nice to, to see, see you. Great nice to, to see, see you. Too. Daniel calls me from time to time, and, and she always has some unusual, interesting things. All right, right on over this way. Great. As an antique dealer, I've run across a lot of things, and phonographs just have to be one of them. This is a Rutherford phonograph, vertical. A Rutherford? Rutherford. Okay. This was named for the president of the Jehovah Witnesses. That's it? Jehovah okay. Jehovah Witnesses. When he told me it was made by the Jehovah's Witnesses, blew my mind. I heard stories about these because I grew up a Jehovah's Witness. Sure. Like people going out and preaching right, via Right, right, right. That's exactly player. what it was. Yeah. Judge Rutherford was an attorney for the Watchtower Group. And when the gentleman that preceded him passed away, which was Charles Russell, he took over as the president of the society up to 1942 when he passed away. They were used because of their ease of movement, of being able to move them from one, one place to the other. Let's open it up. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look at the mechanics of it because I think it's pretty crazy too. What interests me about Ben phonographs is that they're mechanical and I like mechanical things like watches clocks phonographs are kind of in that same realm so it's kind of interesting we're not seeing too much of this anymore back here you see the label now this one's kind of worn off but it said watchtower on the very top so when you look at an antique you always look for a label had I seen watchtower Bible and track society I would have known immediately what it was but that part was scratched off Most of them kind of get worn off, and they also have a serial number. Okay. Well, they made 20,000 of these all together. 20,000? 20, 20,000. This is serial number 3,859. This specific record player is very interesting because it stands up and can be played vertically. This is very unusual and possibly the only type ever made. So this must be the on-off switch. That's the on-off switch. What this did, when this lid came down, it engaged yeah. this spring-loaded affair here and ma that actually made the record go around. Kind of another ingenious thing. The handle is actually part of the, of the winding mechanism. Oh, no way! Yeah, so you wind it okay. like this. We, we can do. leave it upright. Okay. Aw, uh, yeah, that's awesome. It does work. I mean, considering how old this piece is, it stood the test of time. Wow, I like it. Of course, it's 